All right. So normally the first topic is my topic. So for those of you who are new to the show, we all bring a topic into the show. Um, so I'm usually first, but Bobby had a topic today that I think is really relevant and uh, came out recently. People on Twitter were kind of arguing. It's always been kind of a thing that's been with Nintendo fans. Bobby, why don't you just make me shut up? So <laughs> with the announcement of Mutant Muds, um, <laughs> some people have claimed that the Switch is a portable machine. Um, Josh Thomas. <laughs> I'm not even going to say some people. Josh Thomas. Um <laughs> How do, you, how do you feel about the ports we have seen? And, and what's your feeling on all this? All right. So I, I think that, first off, guys, ports ports are necessary at this point in time. Yeah. The Wii U sold 13 million total. That's the entire life. People have not played games like Pikmin 3. This, this makes me cry. Pikmin 3, Bayonetta 2... Even like the new Smash, I know a lot of people got a Wii U for Smash, but still, like that's these are some of the best games that Nintendo has come out with mm-hmm. in the past few years. So, ports are necessary. Ports make new releases. It kind of makes the time seem shorter in between releases. Mm-hmm. They're necessary, yeah. and and you know this came up, and I, I'm I'm assuming Bobby brought this up because of the whole thing with Jules mm-hmm. coming out with the Mutant Muds collection. That's necessary, and. We need those indie games like Axiom Verge, Stardew Valley. Like we need these games. They're old games in in terms of like when they came out, but putting them on the Switch. And I don't care what anyone says. There's this big debate that our ports, uh, people saying that, you know, being able to play games portably adds to the value. I completely agree with that. Like, you play you play Breath of the Wild portably, it's it's insane. Mm-hmm. So I think ports are necessary. Anyone who doesn't think so is just being a little whiny Nintendo fan. They're necessary. Yeah. Joe, what, what's your Joe? feeling, Joe? Yeah, man. Uh, I uh, This hit me on so many different levels because um, I think for, first, firstly, like, we got we to gotta talk about how, like, a lot of these indie devs, this is their way of also being able to make a living and continue making new games mm-hmm. is sometimes you have to port over another game first off to get used to the technology because we all know they probably didn't get dev kits right off the bat uh to I can tell you for a they, fact tools watch them did not get a dev kit right off the bat there you go there you go <clears throat> uh to you know they have to understand the technology and uh be able to afford a new ip down the road eventually so here's their way to make some money in order to put that into the next project some of these guys are working project to project yep so Yep. It's necessary from that end. For the consumer, I a lot of these games that that have been coming out on the Switch that I have been buying, I never played on any other console or PC. Mm-hmm. Um, and let's talk about PC to console ports. Like no one said this when Undertale came from PC to PS4 and Vita no. earlier. It was the greatest and so, thing ever. And it, yeah, it was like, oh great, come on, let's let, let we want more of this. Yeah. And please, Toby Fox, bring that to Switch. Oh, yeah. Um or 3DS at least. <laughs> but yeah, like I just I, I feel like it's fine to port games. If you don't want it, then <clears throat> you don't have to buy it. And yeah. they're at affordable prices on top of that. Come mm-hmm. on now. Yeah. It, we're we're in we're in this era now that we're finally starting to see variation in prices. Not everything is sixty dollars anymore. Mm-hmm. Not everything is forty dollars anymore. We're mm-hmm. seeing ten dollar games. We're seeing five dollar games on there, which those might be questionable. I don't know. Um, that's <laughs> that's not for me to judge. Uh, Fifteen, twenty. We're seeing a huge range of of game prices so for someone to complain that a game is too expensive i i don't know what else to tell you (laughs) maybe it's just not for you um here comes the hammer yeah the hammer's about to get dropped because i feel like let me me just be honest with you josh thomas needs to knock it knock the f off seriously um he's he's being a troll and he's being a jackass and i'm friends with josh and i'm saying that straight up you're you're being facetious as hell and you are doing whatever. I don't know what happened. Um, I have no idea what happened with you. Uh, I'm a little confused, you know, if I'm being honest. And at the end of the day, here's a guy that put a game out on the 3DS. 
and it didn't move. And the fans were telling him, put it on the Switch, put it on the Switch. He posts a picture of MUDs on the Switch, and people go bananas. You know what I mean? Josh, by the way, I'm speaking directly to Josh during all this. I just want to, because this is, this is who I'm, I'm a little upset about this all with. You, you, he gives the thing a 10 out of 10 five years ago. Did suddenly in five years that game turn into a 1 out of 2? Because for someone that raves that Super Mario Sunshine is the greatest Mario 3D game of all time, how do you sit here and tell me that a guy has no right porting a five-year-old game? How can five years ago that game be a 10 out of 10 and all of a sudden the play mechanics got bad in five years? How? The controls are spot on. They're dead on. How does that all of a sudden just change? Explain it to me. Somebody in the world, explain to me how five years ago you give a game 10 out of 10. Now all of a sudden it's garbage. Please. Please. Two weeks ago, you apologize to him in a live stream on my thing. You apologize to Jules and you say, I'm sorry for being a dick. And then you turn around and become a dick again. Why? Explain it to me. I don't understand it. If that's your game now, where you want to hate on everything and be that type of person... By all means. But I feel like you're like Donald Trump. And people are trying to scream at you to get off of Twitter. Get off of Twitter, dude. Just put social media aside. Because you're destroying your brand and you're destroying your credibility. That's my opinion. Now, I could be too harsh. I could be wrong. But at the end of the day, when I look at a game like Muds, I go, okay, great. Let's. You're talking about, here's the thing. Did you even watch the trailer? Because I'm kind of curious, we're going to go to Joe the Critic at this point. He immediately was saying that it was uh, it was going to be too much money because he didn't watch the trailer to see there's three games coming. That's what I want to say to Josh now. You're, you're, you're saying that this game shouldn't come. Who played Super Challenge here? Raise your hand if you played Super Challenge. Played like a couple stages. Yes. <laughs> who, played Mud, who played Mud Blocks? Not me. That's a new game that nobody's ever touched before. So when you look at those things, right, you look across the board at that, why are people upset about this? There's a lot of people that haven't played the original MUDs. And if you don't believe me, look at my comments in my YouTube. Look in my Discord. There's people that are saying, like, man, I never played this. Thank you for showing me this game. I want to play this now. I don't understand this mentality. I It's this hipster... It, it's the hipster mentality of... I don't want these ports to come because I want to be the only kid in town that played this game. And and you didn't get a chance to play because you didn't buy a Wii U. You didn't buy a 3DS. Knock it off. This whole mentality of we shouldn't get ports and all this stuff, this is how Nintendo survives. All you guys that went screaming when the Wii U was going down the toilet for we need games, we need games, we need games. Dude, there's so many games coming out now you can't even breathe. But you know what? Here's the beauty. I can pick and choose what I like, what I want, because there's so many to choose from. And if ports are what it is, that is what it is. But guess what? I can tell you for a fact, there's two games coming from Atui in the next nine months that aren't ports. And guess what? Then, maybe, com- common sense here, people, to two-man studio, two-man studio, maybe... That two-man studio just needs a little bit of money to get over the hump, to get to the next release. This is what people don't understand. We're not talking about Nintendo. We're not talking about Sega. We're not talking about Capcom. We're not talking about Sony or Xbox or um, Naughty Dog. We're talking about a two-man studio. Let me guess, you got a problem with Axiom Verge getting ported again? A one-man studio. Grow up. Grow up. If that's your thinking, just grow up, man. Seriously. You can't blame indie devs for putting even even ports on the Switch. Yeah. Every indie game is selling pretty damn well. Yeah. Like, they, I mean, I think they are. I heard Shovel. <laughs> yeah. just support because your of indies. Jell. Oh my just God, Joe. Your indies. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I thought I had a lot of games. <laughs> I have 16 indies. games and 11 of them are indies. Yeah. I'm, I, now, okay, so we're, we're all mad. We all think that ports are good. I... I'm. I haven't even played Pokemon yet, so like there are definitely people that they they need ports to experience some yeah. of these games. Mm-hmm. Now I can see 
I can see these small, very tiny bit that don't enjoy indies, owned a Wii U, and played every single game. Because really, we've we've only had about five major releases. I can see the little bit of frustration from people, but when you have indies like going out of their way, just today, uh, Retro City Rampage announced that they're doing a physical version. Like, it, there's so awesome. many. There's so many indie devs that are just going out of their way to please the fans. I I'm I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to say because indies. I can and- tell you right now what to say. This is it's real simple. There's this little thing, right? There's, there's this little console back in the '80s called the NES, right? The Nintendo Entertainment System. It's where we all fell in love, right? We all not maybe not guys like like you, Patrick. You were still you weren't even you were daddy sack at that <laughs> point. But the point is, is like. At some point, I'm sure you went back and played NES games, whatever. But let me explain the timeline of what happens with the NES. So the NES comes out, right? Super Mario Bros. 1 comes out. Super Mario Bros. 2 comes out, and it's totally different than 1. Zelda 1 comes out. Zelda 2 comes out, it's totally different than 1. Castlevania 1 comes out. Castlevania 2 comes out, totally different. Mega Man? Mega Man was a totally different art style. was changed up. There's a lot of changes in it. What that era was, was ingenuity changes ahead of its time doing stuff they didn't give you what you wanted they gave you what you wanted that you didn't know you wanted you were sitting there clamoring for this and they're going no 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 we're going to give you this and then you got it you're like oh my god this is amazing you know what i mean like that's what the nes brought that's what indie developers are because guess what you're not going to get a different game than breath of the wild you're going to get breath of the wild too when zelda finally comes back around or you're going to get a top down zelda you're not going to get a different mario game you're going to get the same shoehorned, same stuff. When Mario Kart comes out, I'm going to make you a promise. It's going to be Mario Kart. When Smash comes out, it's going to be Smash. Like, that's, it doesn't diversify. It doesn't change. You got small studios like Image and Form that gives you Dig, then goes totally the opposite way and gives you SteamWorld Heist. And then gets you hooked on that. And then when you want more of that, they go, no, 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 we're going to go back to Dig now. You got studios like Zoink that gives you Stick It to the Man, phenomenal indie game, by the way, also coming to Switch at some point. Yeah. That game, right? Then they go Zombie Vikings, which is like Castle Crashers, totally different than Stick It to the Man. Then they bring us Fee, which is totally different than the rest of them. This is why you want indies, because they're giving yeah. you what you don't know you want until you play them. And anybody. That really doesn't like indies, just get rid of your Switch. That's simple. Yeah. Like, either get rid of your Switch or just put it in the corner because you're only, you know, you'll play it a little bit. You know, when, when the big games come out, that's all you're going to play. But when Nintendo hits the ruts, because it's going to happen, I assure you it's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. Either you're going to get ports or Nintendo's going to hit massive ruts like they did with the Wii U. I prefer to take the, the ports because I'm the one that never played Pokemon Tournament. I did now because I bought it on the Switch. I was I was thankful to get that thing. I don't know. I'm going on a little bit. I'm a little long in the tooth at this moment. But All if you guys right. got anything else to add, go I ahead. like the sight of Bobby. Oh, I'm mad, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad. Right. I'm mad because you know what? I read a tweet today from Josh that was like saying that Jules was sending people after him and all that stuff. Dude, you're a baby. Grow up. Grow up. And 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 my thing is, I've had I've had Josh on my show twice. We talk at length. He's friend. Him and my wife talk. Me and him talk. I, I consider him a friend. I don't consider this. I, this mentality is childish as hell, man. It really is, and it just blows me away. Like, you don't like. And here's the thing. He was saying he was getting attacked for being critical. No, you're being attacked for being a troll, for being a jack off. You're talking down about this dude, like you're attacking him personally. That's where the issue comes. There's a difference if you go, I don't like this I don't like this approach. I don't think ports should be coming to the Nintendo Switch. I think Nintendo should try to dirt. That's fine. Nobody's got an issue with that. Yeah. I got an issue when you attack. When you attack personally. When you say that something isn't as good as other stuff. When it is. When you say that something is good as isn't as good as stuff that's out now, yet five years ago you gave it a ten out of ten. Five years don't change the 10 out of 10. Because guess what? That means everybody gave Breath of the Wild a 10 out of 10. In five years, that means it's not a 10 out of 10 no more. It means it's garbage. And that's not the ch- that's not the case. Because I got news for you. Last of Us, 10 out of 10. It's been what? Fi- it's been five years since Last of Us. Maybe f- 
No, it's been five years since Last of Us, right? Because it came on the PS3. Oh, yeah. It's pretty damn close. That game's still a 10 out of 10. Newsflash. Still a 10 out of 10. Doesn't change because five years have passed. Anybody that thinks that mentality is just ridiculous. So, I'm done. We want Move ports. On. We want ports. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what was that? Well, oh, hold on, guys. It's Jules. Uh, he <laughs> oh, needs okay. me to take care of something. I'll be right back. Uh, something about killing someone? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs>